So that's their final position. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to animate their um, set keyframes for their final position and set keyframes for their first position. And then I'm going to go back and set the timing. Who? So that's what at 407. And let's go back and put in these starting points 407. Okay, and now let's trim all these layers. I'm going to select them all. Click on one layer, shift click on the top layer, and it'll select all the layers in between. Remember to trim the layer is option open bracket, and you want to trim the layer. Why? Because you want to decrease render time. Let's see who built. So I think who is right about here. Uh, built is right about there. Actually, I want them to arrive a little sooner. Okay, let's move my work area. Now, you'll notice that I didn't mask them out just yet. I'm just checking for timing. Let's run preview that. I figured the engineers who built the... I figured the engineers who built the... Not bad. Okay, so now let's draw masks. Um, you'll see that over here, the words who built the sort of dropped out of nowhere. Um, there's a couple different ways to do that. I'm going to do what I think will be the easiest for you, which is to draw a mask. Uh, where did the word who appear? Somewhere. Okay. There you go. Double click on the uh, on a point or part of the line to get the bounding box to come up, and then you can then you can size the the box a little easier. Uh, who built the? And it what's you're not seeing it because what's happening is the mask is moving with the layer. So I need to animate that mask path. Um, you need to animate it so that the keyframes are the same as the position keyframes. They're, they're at the same time. Who? Let's move that. There we go. There's our word. And let me size this a little better. Okay. Now let's go back, who, now let's move that mask path down, here we go, who. So what's happening is as the word who is moving down, the, the box is, the mask is moving as well. Um, to compensate. So it's actually, what I want it to do is stay in the same place, but because the entire layer is moving, I've got to compensate that mask path movement so that it stays in one spot. Okay. And I'll explain the exact same thing again for the word built, in case you didn't quite get that. Okay, built. Um, let's just look at the motion of the layer. Built moves down. Now I'm going to move to the second keyframe in position. So I see where the word built is supposed to be and I'm gonna draw a mask. Okay, it's a little off. So I'm gonna move that by double clicking on a point or a part of the line. Okay, you can press enter when you're done moving. Um, next I'm going to animate the mask path Remember, the entire layer is moving. See that? The, uh, the mask path moves with the text. But I don't want it to do that. I want the mask path to stay where it is right now. So in order to do that, I've got to compensate for the movement of the layer. So let's go back to the very first keyframe. And now I'll move the mask path down. 
looks fine. And now, the word built drops into the mask. Okay, who built and the next word, the, and I'm going to explain it one more time. So go to the keyframe where you want it to be seen, draw your mask, Now remember, the mask is on the layer, so the mask will move with the layer. Okay, and the entire layer is moving. I'm going to twirl down the mask, set a keyframe for mask path. I'm going to go back to this keyframe down here. I'm going to use this arrow to go to it, to snap to it quickly. That way I don't have to hunt. And then, since the playhead's in the right spot now, now I'm going to go in, I'm going to move this mask path down to compensate for that movement because I actually want it to stay um, in that exact spot. Who built the... okay. Now I noticed that their mask path is feathered just a little bit um, so that you don't get this hard edge right here and the mask path uh, feather is, options are right here. They probably did like a five pixel feather. I'm not going to go do that right now because it's taking, it's going to take up time and we need to get through a lot more. Who built the all new 09 F-150? Okay. All new, that should be easy, all new 09. Okay, so let's just add those. Where did those appear? Let's see. The all new 09. Okay, so right in here. All. New. Oh nine. Whoops. Oh nine. All was rotated, so let's rotate that. Uh, well, I don't remember which way they rotated it. Okay. All. Negative 90. Mm, I think the text was a little smaller than that. No, maybe about the same. They made the word new giant. The word new was about as tall as that word all. So we'll do that. Let's uh, work on placement here. I'm going to make that word even bigger. New. Okay. All right, so new is much bigger. Let's work on placement. Now, if you want to do rulers, um, Command R will turn on rulers, and you can drag guides out from those rulers, so you can tell if your alignment is on or off. I'm gonna move the word all. Okay, um, that looks pretty good. And to let's say you've got like a million guides in your comp, and those lines are getting in the way. Um, it's pretty easy to just hide those guides. You use command semicolon. We'll hide those and command semicolon will bring them back. And if you want to get rid of them, just click on them and drag them back into the ruler. There you go. All right. All new. And then how do, what does 09 look like? Oh, 09 is like giant. Okay. On 09, make it giant, super giant. Um, yeah, that's gonna be really too big for this screen almost. So let's adjust the uh, space between the letters. Okay. Uh, 
I need my rulers. Or something like that. What did theirs look like? Okay. 09 was supposed to fit on the side here of engineers. Oh, and they moved all of this over. Okay. Well, that's fine. This is good enough. It's all just placement anyway. And when you do your project, you can place yours wherever you want. Who built the all new? Starts right about here. Um, I think new is somewhere over here. Ram preview. I figured the engineers who built the all new 09. I figured the engineers who built the all new 09. Pretty good. What'd they do next? 09. Okay, so they made. I figure the engineers all move out. And who built the. Who built the all new 09 stays? With the word F 150. Okay, fine. Um, let's move everything up. Now, this is going to start to get, like, more complicated. 09 F1. Um, you're going to want to move I figure the and engineers at the same time. So the easiest thing to do, you can either... You can either animate oops, position for both of those at the same time, um, or you can now parent engineers to, I figure, the PC. Uh, yeah, particularly because you don't have any uh, keyframes attached to it yet. Let's just animate both of those in position. Um, and oh, I accidentally press the uh, hotkey for going to the end of my comp. That's not good. Turn that off. Let's go back to find my place in the comp. Um, I'm going to give myself some more room. There we go. All new 09 F. Here we go. All right, so animating position for engineers and I figure the APC. Um, and I'm actually going to need to animate position for all of these. So select them all. Turn on position if it's not already on. Um, to add a keyframe right here where the cursor is and you don't really want to move anything. If you move something it'll automatically start a keyframe. Just go over here to the left, add keyframe. Okay. Alright. And everything moves up and out of frame. Well, the top parts move out of frame. Um, let's just select everything first and use the uh, arrows to move it all up. Now the, oops, the top lines keep going so now I'll deselect everything and then reselect those uh, I figure the engineers. I figure the and engineers. Um, 